we'll finish up this page by talking about anemia. So, first of all, what is anemia? The word simply means no blood. Of course, that is a slight exaggeration, isn't it? My husband likes to say that I'm prone to hyperbole, and I think whoever made up this word was also. So, let's think, though, what, what it really means is not enough blood. But even what do they mean by that? Maybe not enough red blood cells. So, low red blood cells. Maybe someone has plenty of plasma, but not enough red blood cells. Maybe they um, have enough red blood cells, but they don't have enough hemoglobin in their red blood cells. Be another cause. Or maybe they have um, a mutated hemoglobin that doesn't work right. Maybe you've heard of um, sickle cell anemia, and that's exactly what's going on in this. What happens is, is under stress, whether it's emotional or physical, the, the red blood cell will change from this shape to this inflexible sickle shape. And that's where it gets its name. It's inflexible, it can't fit through the capillaries anymore, so it clogs up vessels and causes mini strokes. Then another cause might be maybe there's enough red blood cells, but the cells themselves are fragile. If the red blood cells are too fragile, then they break easily. This could be caused by some kinds of cancers. Maybe um, a kind of cancer might that causes aplastic anemia. So A means not, plastic means to change shape, so these are um, fragile and breakable. So low red blood cells might be caused by hypothyroidism, right? Because if you know that thyroxin increases the production of red blood cells, then hypothyroidism would theoretically cause uh, anemia, which it does. And um, vitamin B12 deficiency is required for red blood cell production. So if there is uh, somehow a deficiency in vitamin B12, then this kind of an anemia is called pernicious anemia. And we talked about that because remember that's the one that um, intrinsic factor is required for the absorption of vitamin B12. What about um, an iron deficiency? that could be caused by dietary problems or absorption of the iron. Sometimes we can't absorb the iron as effectively. Then, of course, hemorrhage or blood loss. What are some symptoms of anemia? So now we talked about some causes. I'll go through those again real quick. Hemorrhage could cause anemia, iron deficiency, hypothyroidism, Vitamin B12 deficiency, uh, sorry, put deficiency on there. Vitamin B12 deficiency, uh, sickle cell anemia, or aplastic anemia. Those are all potential causes of anemia. 
uh, or other kinds of cancers like leukemia make so many white blood cells that there aren't enough red blood cells in some cases. Okay, so symptoms. The symptoms of anemia all make sense when you consider that red blood cells need to carry oxygen to tissues. So if you don't have enough red blood cells or you don't have enough oxygen getting to tissues, then the person might feel tired because they, their cells lack the oxygen needed to make abundant amounts of ATP. The person might be pale because they don't have enough red blood cells and so they physically look paler. They might feel cold because blood so they'd be pale because blood is red and they don't have enough of it. They might be cold because blood is warm. It's actually warmer than the rest of your body. It's about 100.4 degrees as opposed to 98, so it warms you. And if uh, they were quite anemic, then you might see low blood pressure. If they have plenty of water in their vessels, this might not be as noticeable, but uh, any of these are possible uh, symptoms. So maybe we should put possible symptoms. They might not all appear together.